Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2's Torment of Robotic Destruction's Heavyweight Finals. We've got some interesting matches for you this time. Is Team Dragon Shogun up against Team Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner, and Team High Voltage's Wide Load versus Team Megaton's Undead Beat. And then, the winner of those two rounds will go to face off against each other for the final championship. So without further delay, let's see what these bots can do. All right, and here we are, folks. I'm gonna try to control the camera real good, like we got Shogun starting up real, real nice and heavy. Uh, gonna try to get in on the front of Industrial Coal Miner. Industrial Coal Miner is gonna deal a lot of damage with those weapons, though. They're heading toward the center of the arena. Looks like they just passed the traps, though. We've got Industrial Coal Miner with over 10,000 points already. But it looks like... Ooh, Shogun's almost got him flipped over. He's taking heavy damage and smoking. Shogun's got 10,000. Industrial Coal Miner's been flipped over, but Shogun's stuck on the saw blade traps. Whoa, how's this one going to turn out? If Shogun can get off the uh, saw blade traps, he can get Industrial Coal Miner counted out. Eight seconds left for Industrial Coal Miner. He's got to do something. I thought he... Oh, and a heavy hit from Shogun. Possibly a dangerous decision, though. He, it was. He's flipped Industrial Coal Miner back over. Industrial Coal Miner's got a chance to turn this thing around. If he can keep all of his weapons together, but he's only got one left. And there goes the last one. Shogun's just tearing him apart. The crowd's going wild. Shogun with over 25,000, 27,000. I've never seen points go up that fast. Well, not in a long time. Jeez, he's racking up points like a spinner bot. It looks like he's going for the KO. I think he is. Oh man, I really thought this one was going to go to Industrial Coal Miner, but it looks like Shogun's just taking the cake. Oh, and here comes the pit, but it's not activated yet, but it looks like Shogun's going to push him. Wow, he, he weaponized him right into the button. Got him up in the good corner, taking him apart. This thing's a monster. <laughs> Some speeding up and slowing down by both bots. Ooh. <laughs> I, mean, I really never thought I'd see Industrial Coal Miner just be bullied like that. Uh, Shogun finished him. It's over. Uh, match two. Shogun takes it with over 30, uh, 34,000 points. That's uh, round one for Team Dragon Shogun. Let's go one more again and see if uh, Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner can uh, turn this thing around. Let's start from this corner this time. Watch, oh, Industrial Coal Miner taking some fire damage there. Looks like Shogun's gonna start to control the match again. Watch the bots as they might end up towards the pit. Some heavy damage from those uh, spinning blades on Industrial Coal Miner. Getting a good angle on it. Looks like uh, Shogun's gonna need to activate those primary weapons. Industrial Coal Miner backing off now. Gonna get the good angle on it. Looks like Shogun was stuck in the corner there for a hot minute. He's out now. Both bots in a shoving match. Industrial Coal Miner with over 12,000. Shogun trailing at 6. Shogun seems to be having some difficulty with his primary weapons. I'm not sure if the dry venom's gone out or been knocked out or damaged or what. Nope, there they go. They should have been activating those all along. Come on, you've got the, you've got the angle. Just need to get those hits in. Uh-oh. Looks like, uh, looks like an, um, Shogun might have lost a sword or two there. Or three. I think I see one left on the end there. And this this round is totally going to Industrial Coal Miner. Let's flip the camera angle around real quick. Ooh, back, 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 back. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Industrial Coal Miner's tearing him apart. He's got two swords left. Pushing him into the corner now. It looks like this round is all going to Industrial Coal Miner. Just as the last round went to Shogun. Count out for uh, Shogun. Shogun's got to push Industrial Coal Miner into the pit. Come on, push back. Oh, if he doesn't do it, he's in big trouble. There goes the CPU, and there goes the second hit. The second round goes completely to Industrial Coal Miner. With, interestingly enough, a very similar point count, I believe. So uh, let's go to the third round and see all who comes out on top for the final round. I'm glad they're giving us some good shots, because we've only got a... Uh, three rounds to go before we crown a champion, so it's nice to go to round three in both in all three rounds if we can. Or round three in all three matches if we can. 
Shogun um, barreling into the wall at mock speed, breakneck speed. Industrial Coal Miner dealing some heavy damage there, already racking up the points. Looks like Shogun's already on fire, smoking. Got some internal damage going on there, and he's getting pushed into the corner. He's definitely going to want to push back if he's uh, if he's going to turn this thing around. He doesn't want to let... He was so aggressive in the first round, and now he seems to be so reserved. Count out for both bots. Industrial Coal Miner backs off. The Shogun's taking the lead. They're taking a taking a pushing stance here. Looks like somebody got might get flipped if they're not careful, and there it goes in... Oh, he flipped him out. Oh, that one goes to Shogun. I'm going to let it ride. Shogun takes it. Oh, man. Let me know what you guys think about that match in the uh, comment section. Uh, I believe that was going hands down the Industrial Coal Miner right before he got flipped. Wow, that is something special right there. But it could happen. That's what the flipper's for. And it's strange. It usually flips him in the opposite direction, not, you know, backwards. But he, he wasn't quite fully on it. He was on the very edge of it, so it was flipped. It pushed him backwards instead of forwards. That was really interesting. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, and we're back with Team High Voltage's Wide Load versus Team Megaton's Undead Beat. Uh, after that upset in the last round, I hope this one's going to turn out to be just as good. Or even better, possibly. All right, let's zoom out real quick and get that nice angle. Wide load's probably gonna take the lead in this one. I'm, uh, in my opinion, giving it the wide load. Ooh, but a heavy hit from Undead Beat on wide load's, I think, primary weapon. But it unfortunately tipped him up just enough for wide load to get up underneath him and deal some heavy damage. The skirting seems to be, uh, the skirting seems to be the crux of most uh, bots that want to go up against wide load because he pushes that skirt up and then gets right in underneath. Him. See if I can get a better angle on that one. Ooh, no! Oh, there it is. Perfect. I know, I know. It is so annoying to lose the bots for a second, but I really want to show the damage up close and personal. Looks like Wide Load's going to deal a lot of damage to those tires. Undead Beat's going to have a lot of trouble unless he can get some heavy hits on the chassis or main weapon of Undead uh, of, uh, of of Wide Load. Uh, looks like uh, Wide Load's actually taking some flamethrower damage. Four. The bots aren't. Oh, whoop! There's Undead Beat on the flamethrower. I'm not sure if he's having weapon difficulties, but it seems like his primary. Hey, he's he's behind Undead. He, oh, he's behind Wide Load now. Get those strikes. There's got to be a problem with his primary weapon. It was coming down very slowly in the last in the last part there. See as it comes down so slow. Wide Load definitely taking the initiative in this one. Points for aggression. Points for control. Undead Beat trailing at 8,000. Wide Load dominating at over 25,000. Looks like the uh, middle hazard might activate if they're not careful. And there's a refrigerator. Ooh, and it falls just onto the side of Undead Beat. Undead Beat still in a lot of trouble here, having a lot of difficulty with his primary weapon. Uh, uh, interestingly enough, it looks like he's shoving Wide Load up underneath the refrigerator. Maybe that could help him. It does! Undead Beat lo Wide Load's lost half of his primary weapon, and now the pit's activated, so let's see if anything hap interesting happens there. Um, <laughs> there's uh, Wide Load's um, drum spinner. Undead Beat still just barely able to activate that primary weapon. Unfortunately, it looks like it is now unable to um, go back into the um, ready position. The chain might have been busted. Good physics on the game's part. Oh, if Undead Beat's not careful, he's going to back right up into the pit. A devastating match as these two bots are torn to shreds. This is um, this is the kind of match that we look for in Robot Arena where both bots just go one-on-one -on -one and rip each other to shreds. Parts and shrapnel all over the arena. And there goes Wide Load's last primary weapon, but Undead Beat just gets counted out. Now that's a good one with a close point count. I really like that. 40 to 31,000. Let's get that set up and we'll be... I, I, I wanted to follow him to see where he went. Um, round two, coming right up. Round two. Let's see what these two bots are all about. Hopefully, can, hopefully they can tear each other up like they did the last time. At the end of uh, this and then one more, we're going to have ourselves a champion to go up against the loser, or the winner of the loser's bracket. 
And, uh, oh no, Undead Beast lost his primary weapon. If he can keep wide load in the center of the arena for just long enough, maybe he can get a hazard to fall on him. Let's see if we can get a good close-up on these two. Coming down. Coming down for a close-up, says the helicopter. <laughs> All right, it looks like Undead Beat is holding wide load at just the distance to not get hit. Oh, no. Nope. It's bad now. Wide load's getting in on behind him. They've activated the pitfall trap. Gonna need to come around for the other angle there. Looks like wide load is dominating now. I'm gonna zoom out for the for the angle from over here. It looks like wide load is just tearing into shreds. Oh man. Undead beat counted out in the last round, and now without his primary weapon, it looks like he's in big trouble. And he just he signs out, folks. I think he legitly gave up. He knew he had no primary weapon and no way to win. Well, he could have tried the pit, but I, it's almost like he committed robo-suicide. He committed robocide! Is that a thing? Anyway, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the final round. See you there. Alright folks, and we're back with Team Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner versus Team High Voltage's Wide Load. This is the final match to choose a champion for the heavyweight tournament and that champion will have to go up against the winner of the loser's bracket, so this is for all the marbles. Let's see what these two bots are all about. Alright, here we go, folks. I hope this match turns out to be as good as the last two. Industrial Coal Miner coming right up against Wide Load and a lot of clashing going on. Two of the strongest spinner bots in the game go one-on-one, -on -one, head to head. Oh, I gotta get a close in on that. We're going to go for a close-up angle. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, and down. There we go, there we go. Looks like uh, Industrial Coal Miner's gotten in on the side of Wide Load, but Wide Load's getting up underneath him, kicking him up. Industrial Coal Miner doing a good job at keeping Wide Load into the corner patrol zone. Wide Load getting kicked up by those powerful drills on Industrial Coal Miner. I'm trying to get the good angles, but um, my camera keeps getting stuck on the edge of the arena. Wish I had that orbital cam. Count out for both bots and wide loads. Uh, moving on his drums there. Looks like he's going to get flipped over though. Almost, but Industrial Coal Miner moves in to keep him pinned up against the side of the arena. He to come at it from this angle. Uh oh. Industrial Coal Miner seems to be hitting the CPU on wide load and wide load is out just that quickly. So it's all about control in this match. You gotta be able to control your opponent and keep them where you want them. The industrial coal miner was very keen on keeping wide load stuck in that corner. We've got the second round coming up. All right, and here we go. Industrial coal miner lining up, wide load lining up. The clash is coming in the middle. They've really gotta watch out for those flame traps. Uh-oh. They're over the center arena, but no up, oh, and there's the refrigerator. Industrial Coal Miner pushing wide load into the pit trap. Definite points for control, and it looks like he's about, oh no, don't push him into the pit already. Wide load, now's your only chance. Push Industrial Coal Miner into the pit. Uh-oh, Industrial Coal Miner getting some more points for control as he's taking off the primary half of the primary, primary weapon on wide load. Drum spinner is out. But it looks like Industrial Coal Miner has lost one or two of his drills already. Two! He's got one left. Industrial Wide Load might be able to finish this off if he can keep up underneath Industrial Coal Miner. Let's try to get an angle on that. I'm going to turn it around. I'm turning around. I'm coming in for a reverse angle. There it is. Whoa! I'm going I'm to stick with that one. It looks like both bots are stuck together right now. Industrial Coal Miner with his top spinner still going. Wide load with that side spinner still going. These two bots are going at each other like predator and prey. Like crazy. Looks like uh, Industrial Coal Miner still got part of that bottom spinner there. Working in on that tire. Backing off now. Wide load coming in for another heavy hit. Industrial Coal Miner still able to deal damage. 
Oh man, it's up to whose primary weapon the last part of it goes first. Both, oh, both bots. I just realized Wide Load was definitely over that flamethrower uh, trap for a long time there. That dealt some damage to his internals, I'm sure. And it looks like he might be about to move, lose his primary weapon. If he can push Wide Load up against the refrigerator and hold him there, he might have a chance. If I can get off of the refrigerator myself. Sometimes the camera angle will auto... Oh, it's going to auto-target again. I'm going to have to zoom in and around it. Okay, I'll go around it. There we go. Looks like Wide Load's uh, side paneling is stuck on the refrigerator now. And I'm not sure if anybody's actually hitting anybody. Oh no, they're, they're not hitting anybody. They've got to get a count out and back out. I don't know if more arena traps will fall from the top. I don't think they will. Both of these bots just torn to shreds now. An industrial coal miner has lost his primary weapon. His innards are exposed and it looks like Wide Load's going to go for the kill. Industrial coal miner still with all three shots left to his chatsy. Two. One, and it's over. He kills himself on the refrigerator. Oh, no. Oh, man. The first one went to um, Industrial Coal Miner, didn't it? I should have written it down. It went to Industrial Coal Miner. I believe it did. Yeah. Yeah, Industrial Coal Miner had him pinned in the corner. Okay, so we do get a round three. Yes, I'm sure of it. Industrial Coal Miner had him pinned pinned wide load up against the corner. I just want to make absolutely sure we get a third round. And here we go. Oh, man. Okay, we've got one and one for both bots. I know I shouldn't be so excited, but it's been a long time coming. I've been on this series for like half a year. <laughs> both, uh, both bots dealing heavy damage over there in the corner. I'm trying to get a good angle on it. Wish I could get just past perfect, perfect, right there. <laughs> oh man. Uh, count out for both bots. Ooh, and parts go flying as Industrial Coal Miner lines up for his next shot. Oh, gotta zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. There we go. We'll keep it, we'll keep it at about this angle. As Industrial Coal Miner pushes wide load all over the arena. Definite points for control on Industrial Coal Miner. Didn't even look like wide load was pushing back there. Wide load stuck up against the saw blades on the side of the arena. Oh man, and he's lost half of his, uh, half the barrel of his primary weapon there. Oh man, and now Industrial Coal Miner getting some more points for getting uh, control uh, up underneath Wide Load and behind him as a tire goes rolling across the arena. We've got a count out with seven seconds left for, I believe, Industrial Coal Miner if he doesn't hurry up and back up. Oh, don't lose by count out. No! Wide Load loses by count out. Oh man, and there he is. Your champion, Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner, match winner. Uh, fireworks! Yay! Winner! Winner, winner, chicken winner. <laughs> Team Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner with 21 uh, 29,873 points is the heavyweight champion of the tournament, the DSL Mods Tournament of Robotic Champions. Now, whether or not he can hold that title depends on whether or not he can beat whoever wins the loser's bracket, which I'm hoping is going to be me. But we'll have to wait until next week to find out. I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.